creative art. I am Nilima and today we are going to do the easiest type of painting which is acrylic pour painting. So friends, if you do understand the medium well, this will be the most amazing experience of painting for you. So first of all friends, we are going to start with the easiest technique which is a flip cup technique. Randomly one by one colors are poured into the same cup. Then the base is placed on the cup. Then you just turn out your base, place it on a plain horizontal surface. And when you pick up your cup, there will be the whole color which is spreading out. Just move it a little bit and you are going to get this kind of beautiful acrylic pour painting. So friends, let's give it a try. Friends, let's quickly check out the materials we are going to need for pour painting. First of all, we are going to need a base and for that I am going to use a canvas board from Fine Art and if you are a beginner friends, it's better to start from a small piece. So this is a 8 into 10 inch canvas board. Next, you are going to need a pouring medium. So I am going to use Brewster Professional High Gloss Pouring Medium and Colors. So for colors, you can either use a Fevacryl colors which comes in this kind of bottle and they are actually best for the pouring or else you can also use Camel Artist Acrylic colors. So the proportion of a Fevacryl with a Brewsto is two parts of Brewsto and one parts of this Fevacryl color. And for Camel, this kind of tube colors is three parts of Brewsto pouring medium with one part of Camel acrylic color. So for this painting, I'm using metallic gold color from Fevacryl, golden yellow color 09 from Fevacryl, deep magenta 1112 from Camel Artist acrylic color, and 339 portrait paint from camel artist acrylic color other than that friends i'm going to use a silicone oil to get cells and i have heard that this one is the best serum to get cells so let's give it a try we're going to need a few cups small and big size a measuring spoon i actually lost my measuring spoon so this time i'm going to use this small container for measuring ice cream sticks to mix and a dropper okay now friends, our first step is to prepare our base. For that, you have to already prepare your canvas by giving it a layer of texture white and let it get dry for at least 24 hours. Then at the base, you should definitely have this kind of polythene because that will help you from making mess. I'm using my masking tape roll to give the canvas board a support. It is still and uniform. So now we'll start preparing our color these are our four cups and i'm going to use my brusto pouring medium so as you remember friends for fevacryl colors the ratio is two parts of pouring medium and one part of color that means i'll take two scoops of pouring medium and one scoop of the acrylic color friends you have to always mix your colors according to the size of your canvas So now we'll add colors. First of all, I'm going to add golden yellow. Then one scoop of metallic gold. Now I'm going to use a little bit of portrait paint. I exactly know what amount I need, so I'm directly putting it in and deep magenta now friends give them a very good mix the color should be mixed up very well with the pouring medium when you notice that there is a little bit of flow like this as well as your texture is creamy you'll feel it ready okay next i'll mix gold next the portrait pink finally magenta Okay, so all the colors are mixed up very well. They can flow. So now friends, I'm going to add just one drop of silicone oil. As this is the best one, so just one drop would be enough. Now give them a very good mix. Our canvas is ready. All the colors are ready. So this is the cup. I'm going to pour 
all of them in okay so first of all I'm going to pour a little bit of gold then the portrait pink color I'm going to pour them in part deep magenta yellow gold again all of the portrait pink deep magenta now I'm thinking to change the sequence I'm pouring portrait pink all of it just carve it down yellow deep magenta and finally gold so now our cup is filled what you have to do is place your canvas on the cup exactly in the center part turn it now just hope for the best and lift up your cup let it flow to all the parts I'll just take out what is remaining in the cup I'm just applying the remaining to the sides because those are the sides which always are remaining okay so now you can see it already has started flowing so I'll move it to this words okay let's go let's go let's go let it come to the corner in just let it flow slowly okay then bring it to the side leveling here so that it may flow down to each and every part let it go there ended and finally this corner is remaining okay so we have got paint on all the sides I never thought that yellow will take over okay I think I'll keep it this way just wait for a few seconds and the cells will start appearing so now it's time to pop up the bubbles so hit the torch so this is my torch and I'm slightly going to go over the painting popping the bubbles I think uh, this much is enough let's see how does it looks when it gets dry so friends and now our first flip cup pour has finally got dry and this is how it has come I have let it get dry for at least two days and you can see here is a golden part a bit of that purple but most of the part in the painting has got dominated by yellow color I was expecting something a more mix and I actually used four colors but I really got a unexpected results but I think I'm still going to keep it because I'm still going to give it a try go ahead and try different techniques this was my first cup flip and I have really got a lot of points through it first point is that according to my painting I can see that yellow has overtaken a lot of proportion uh, from that we can conclude that yellow was a bit light in weight as compared to rest of the three colors next came the golden which is in almost these parts but I can really see a lot many cells uh, these are 
generally a lot more than what we have expected that means the proportion of silicon i used was more so next time i have to use maybe just one drop of silicone oil next is that i have used two different brand of colors for making this painting which was camel and fevicryl so i have to use just one brand of color for example if i'm using the camel i have to just use a camel and if i'm using fevicryl i just have to use fevicryl because you can see the fevicryl were golden and yellow and which actually got up on the painting and the camel brands which were from the tube which was the magenta and portrait pink got at the bottom that's the reason we are just able to see two colors not four of them so these are all the points i'm going to keep in my mind while i'm going to do my next painting so friends tell me in the comments below what do you think about this painting and friends please 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 subscribe my channel and share my videos to help me grow and increase the creative art